You're looking at a new feature from Foursquare. It's called Local Updates. Welcome back to Digits. I'm Simon Constable, and we have Stephen Rosenblatt from Foursquare itself joining us on the set now. Thank you very much for being here. Really, really appreciate this. Thanks for having us. Um, you're the Chief Revenue Officer. Tell, tell us what Local Updates is. Sure. So what we've recently launched are two things. One's called Local Updates and one's called Promoted Updates. So in the new, all new Foursquare, which we launched uh, a couple of weeks ago, we brought a function called Explore to the forefront. And this essentially allows our users to find things at uh, and uncover things, kind of the surprise and delight within mm. Foursquare. And the Local Updates and Promoted Updates now come to the forefront. So Promoted Updates will allow merchants essentially to uh, surface all sorts of great content for our users uh, in that experience. So we're talking about d deals here, you know, um, so, so, you know, we got some, you know, new new cookies just hot out of the oven and if you come to wh wherever it is, then they'll be available for you. How is that different from what Groupon and Living Social are doing when they're off making, you know, offers for you can get discounts or things that are fresh off? Fresh, fresh out of the oven. Yeah, so the beautiful thing about what we've done at Foursquare is we've, we've really given uh, a diverse set of tools for businesses to use. So not every business wants to do a, a daily deal or not every business uh, wants to do an offer or coupon. Luxury goods, for example, never like to discount. Um, but they have a lot of great things that they want to tell cut users. And so uh, so essentially with, with updates, it allows a merchant to do lots of different things. It's not just a special. It could be a special experience or it could be just something that they want to tell customers that are really relevant to them as they're uh, they're near their that business. So you, you say really relevant to them, and and that that's you know that because of we what? know that because we have two billion check-ins in our system. For the last three years, we have uh, 20 million users who have checked in two billion times and five million check-ins every day. We know where people are. We know where their friends are. We know what they like to do, um, and all that data allows us to get really smart about what we what we think users want and recommend great things to them. So how how does this stop being spam? Right, you you understand if you're getting a lot of stuff, sure. and, I, and I and I get stuff that I, I used to think I'd like to get, and just email, just email that is nothing. Oh, th that's great, I'm getting yeah. that, and then you know a year later I'm still getting it, and I hate it. Yeah, I hate it too. Yeah. So the you know with Foursquare, it's it's an opt-in experience. You open up the app, you go on your phone, you open up Foursquare, and there you are searching for things while you're out and about. Mm. Uh, we're all about connecting people with places, right? So when you're out looking for things in the real world and trying to figure out what you want to do next, where you want to go, where you want to shop. You go into Explore, you search for things, and their merchants uh, can provide all sorts of different, again, compelling content mm -hmm. for our users. So it's an opt-in experience. You're not, uh, and, and you're actually going in, you're opening the app, you're finding so things versus not. getting things that just are getting pummeled at you. Which they do for a lot, a lot of people. Um, so Foursquare has evolved, right? Like sure. like any good tech company, it's tried some stuff, it's it's gone. As a, how do you see this as different from the way where you started and, and where's it going? Yeah, I think, you know, what, what we've really done over the last three years is you've seen the evolution. So we started out, really pioneered the concept of a check-in um, and really, again, as a mobile first company with this social layer uh, at its core, we started out where people were checking in, they, they really enjoyed the ga gamification kind of mechanics of Foursquare. Mm. But that's really evolved now uh, after three years where we have, again, all this data about what people like to do, where they like to go. And we're starting to really make some um, recommendations to people before and, and helping them uncover new things when they're out and about in the, in the world. So, you know, our goal is to help you and your friends make the most out of where you are. And I think that's where we're really going with Foursquare. And merchants love it because they can really provide, again, they can connect with users and give them all sorts of valuable things. Uh, and our users love it because they find things from merchants that they may not have found otherwise. Again, that kind of surprise and delight experience. So um, let's shift to, to the group the Groupon experience because the, the Groupon experience has upset um, both users, um, actually three things. It's, it's upset users, it's upset, mer upset merchants, and they've upset investors, which is really cover covering the gamut there. But but on the merchants front, and merchants are key to, to any good business. Um, Talk about that. I mean, the, the yep. Groupon. Is, I mean, people are saying I went bust because of Groupon. What I don't know how. Well, I don't know the truth of it, but yeah. certainly some people have said that. I mean, how do you get around that? Well, I think businesses they're, they're, they're not one size fits all. Every mm. business is very different. The mom and pop store in New York is very different than the mom and pop mm. store in, in the middle of the country. is very different than luxury retailers. It's very different than mass retailers. There's they they all run their businesses differently. And so what we've done with Foursquare with all these tools. Again, for years we've had lots of free tools and now. Some, some paid tools, um, 
but it really is a very flexible platform. So if you want to run a special or a deal or an offer, you can. If you just want to provide something of value, some, some message, something that a consumer really wants to understand, you can. So we're, not in, the, we're in the business for, for merchants of really giving them lots of different choices. Mm -hmm. and, and we think that's really valuable for, uh, for all businesses. So again, I think what, what we've really focused on is what do our users want to see? What's going to make their experience better? Mm -hmm. And then ensuring that merchants have lots of different um, ways to communicate to those customers. And that's the tools that we have. And it's not just one thing. 